ప్రపంచ వ్యాప్తంగా సేద్యానికి కంటకంలా మారింది కత్తెర పురుగు ఫాల్ ఆర్మీ వామ్ అని పిలిచే ఈ పురుగు మక్క జొన్న సహా ఎనభై పంటలను ఆశిస్తూ తీవ్ర నష్టం కలుగ చేస్తోంది గతేడాది పంటల్లో దాదాపు పది శాతం నష్టం కలిగించింది ఈ తరుణంలో హైదరాబాద్లో జరుగుతున్న జాతీయ సదస్సు కత్తెర పురుగు విధ్వంసంపై సమగ్రంగా చర్చించింది మూడు రోజుల సదస్సులో కేంద్ర రాష్ట్రాల ప్రణాళికలు రైతులు అనుసరించాల్సిన విధి విధానాలు తదితర అంశాలపై శాస్త్రవేత్తలు చర్చిస్తున్నారు ఈ క్రమంలో కత్తెర పురుగు విధ్వంసం నివారించేందుకు తీసుకోవాల్సిన చర్యలపై ఐసీఏఆర్ డైరెక్టర్ జనరల్ కేంద్ర వ్యవసాయ శాఖ పరిశోధన విద్యా కార్యదర్శి డాక్టర్ త్రిలోచన్ మహాపాత్రతో మా ప్రతినిధి మల్లిక్ ముఖాముఖి మొక్కజన్లో కత్తెర పురుగుపై కేంద్రం యుద్ధం ప్రకటించింది గత ఏడాది అనుభవాలు దృష్టిలో పెట్టుకుని కేంద్ర ప్రభుత్వం ముందస్తు చర్యలకు ఉపక్రమించింది తాజాగా ఇక్రిషాట్ లోని వివిధ దేశాలకు చెందిన శాస్త్రవేత్తలు అదే పరిశోధన సంస్థల అధిపతులతో మొక్కజొన్నలో కత్తెర పురుగు నివారణ అలాగే ఇతర పంటలకు సోకే ప్రమాదం ఉందన్న సంకేతాల నేపథ్యంలో శాస్త్రవేత్తలు అప్రమత్తమయ్యారు ప్రస్తుతం మన ముందు ఐసీఐఆర్ అఖిల భారత వ్యవసాయ పరిశోధన మండలి డైరెక్టర్ జనరల్ త్రిలోచన్ మహాపాత్ర మన ముందున్నారు మరిన్ని వివరాలు తెలుసుకుంది సార్ వాట్ ఈస్ ఫాల్ ఆర్మీ వామ్ ఇన్ మేజ్ ఫాల్ ఆర్మీ వామ్ ఈజ్ ఇన్ Uh, affects uh, maize not only maize the, it also affects uh, globally it is known to affect about 80 different crops by now and uh, it travels long distance if food is not available it can travel long distance and then avail its food so in that sense uh, this insect is uh, considered a very serious pest of maize and other crops how much damage in maize across india in rupees it's very little at this point in time it's only a so occurrence is repeated uh, reported some states damage is not much because uh, you know the infestation was uh, you know brought down to level of even less than 10% by september last year after its report in some states so this uh, year we will see how it uh, you know behaves uh, we have put in place uh, all measures uh, that is required to address the problems so i don't think this is a serious uh, issue at this point in time but given the nature of the insect we should be careful and prepared this new pest our world last year affected in eight states including andhra pradesh and telangana more farmers are huge loss no actually you know uh, the pest is uh, at this point if we actually put in uh, place our measures integrated pest management measures uh, it should not cause a serious challenge but yes if we don't take adequate measures in time it can cause very heavy damage so that is the kind of uh, you know advisory i would uh, say that uh, the farmers should remain vigilant they should be monitoring their field regularly and scouting for the insect they should be in touch with the state uh, government departments and also krishi vigyan kendra and then getting their guidance in time so that the measures are taken in time so there is there should not be any major uh, you know loss to the crop so that would be uh, you know uh, at this point i would like to say can it uh, affected only maize and other uh, crops 80 crops affected uh, chances is there how prakash measures there are chances of uh, other crops being affected like uh, sorghum i mean uh, minor millets so there is a uh, chance that it will affect other crops so that's the reason why we have to be vigilant and then uh, take care what is ir doing research for control measures fall army war indian council of agriculture research has a very systematic approach to manage this insect first of all uh, it has uh, identified uh, institutions to work on one is uh, national bureau of agricultural insect resources located at Bangalore the other is uh, Indian Institute of Maize Research located at Ludhiana they are the two main institutes and there is also another institute in Delhi National Center for Integrated Pest Management and uh, the agricultural universities you know located in some of these states uh, you know where reports have come so we identified institutions to work on research we have identified individuals uh, researchers who can work on this so the other one is we have also defined uh, integrated pest management strategy starting from from seed treatment uh, to monitoring and to you know use of uh, all measures to manage it so that strategy has been given to all the state governments to use also the institutions are doing research on the biocontrol agents of biocontrol are being identified and their multiplication is being done and business models are being also worked out to you know go for rapid uh, large scale multiplication of uh, biocontrol agents for supply and uh, also uh, the light 
trap. Particularly slow release pheromone based light traps are uh, developed and uh, research uh, has been done on that. So we are now going to you know uh, promote that. At the same time we are also working on insecticides uh, which would be also very effective because when it is required we should be also be able to use insecticides. Uh, we are also doing research on that. Similarly we are working on host plant uh, resistance so screening germ plasm lines to identify uh, you know what could be the host plant uh, having certain degree of resistance that can be used to breed new varieties of maize and sorghum to start with so that we will be able to use those varieties and manage this crop. Matter of management uh, so use of resistant varieties, use of biocontrol agents, use of uh, you know traps, pheromone traps and uh, you know also use of cultural practices uh, you know all measures we are actually putting in place to manage this. Uh, research obviously has to also be on use of technology like computer systems, so the digital platforms to detect and also to inform farmers. We are also conducting awareness programs and capacity building programs for farmers and extension workers so that uh, you know they are able to deal with this problem. Our Krishi Bigyan Kendras are working on at this uh, you know interface and working with state governments and farmers so that they are able to manage this uh, problem. What are the low cost methods to the farmer may warm, control the measures uh, and uh, small and marginal farmers? See small and marginal farmers first of all the best method is to see that it doesn't occur at all and for that uh, you know seed treatment is uh, not a very costly method uh, which farmers should uh, before sowing the crop they should go for seed treatment so that initial crop uh, period is uh, having protection and the second is always uh, you know the crop uh, should be free from the crop field should be free from the host except the crop the weeds and it should be weed free and surrounding area should be also you know free from putative host so that the field is free from insects and the second is that uh, conservation agriculture practices are also useful in managing the crops so where the natural enemies are promoted so if you don't use too many pesticides the natural enemies like uh, you know polyhedrovirus uh, nucleo polyhedrovirus uh, the naturally occurring ones they can come in and also the parasitoids they can also naturally control the you know insects so uh, so we are promoting that it's a kind of uh, ecology based uh, you know agricultural farming system where you don't use uh, too much of chemical pesticides and uh, easily control so farmers don't have to really incur cost at the same time our uh, system of working with uh, resistant varieties there if a seed is having resistance obviously farmers don't have to incur anything no cost subsequently in the form of pesticides so that uh, we are working on so it should be able to actually help the farmers in the long term similarly the kind of biocontrol agents and uh, you know pheromone traps that we are uh, developing so they would be also helpful they will be of course at a certain cost but we will be able to provide that to farmers at uh, subsidized rates so that uh, you know they will be able to manage it how usa has controlled the pest how it is possible sir usa uses very systematically the pesticides there are large farmers well informed farmers so obviously they have access to the technology in terms of the use of uh, right kind of pesticides and right kind of uh, time and the technology to manage it also at the same time in the us as you might know that there is a use of uh, you know also gm use of uh, bt technology to manage this as a part of uh, management strategy india certainly you know has a different strategy and uh, can define because integrated pest management strategies are region specific there are uh, ecology based uh, approaches and then agroecology would define that so we have to have our own strategy validated ones tested ones and that is what we are working so we should be able to actually manage this on our own and we should learn from the experience of others but uh, we what we are planning at this point in time is uh, build a global or at least uh, you know regional platform where because they travel across borders we have to have this at different locations in different continents to monitor their mobility so once that is done so we have the cyber platforms in place to see how they are moving when they are moving and uh, then we can have disruptions to that and uh, also new technologies which are emerging they can be also be put in uh, place to manage this to understand first of all migration strategy and pathway we need to work more on that katarapur nivarana vishayamlo kendram poorthi aparamatatham undane maha patra cheptunnaru ee nepadhyamlo rendu committee lo kendram yerpadisindi okati kendra vyavsaya mantritva shaakha karyadarshi netrutvam lo okka committee alage rashtrala sthayi lo vyavsaya shaakha mukhya karyadarshi netrutvam lo maro committee ee committee lo anni kuda nirantaram adhyanam chestu andinche nivedikala aadharanga
కారణంగా కత్తెరపురుగు నివారణ కోసం కేంద్ర ప్రభుత్వం పూర్తి చర్యలు తీసుకుంటుందని చెప్పి హామీ ఇస్తున్నారు కెమెరామెన్ అశోక్ తా కలిసి మల్లిక్ ఈటీవీ న్యూస్ హైదరాబాద్